And speaking of that, somebody who's been tracking all of the young guys with the Orioles this year, Fox Sports. We've got Jake Mintz in the booth with us today to take a look at this one. I mean, you've been following the Orioles for a while. We, we know that you guys have also been watching the Mariners. It was a very interesting week. Uh, but when you look at what Gunnar Henderson, along with some of these rookies, have been able to do, I mean, just how impressive is that to you? Really impressive from Gunnar Henderson, especially in the context of this game. Yankee Stadium, packed house. Everyone's here to see Aaron Judge. This is a guy who couldn't buy an alcoholic beverage three months ago. <laughs> and he's here taking a bases loaded walk against a Chapman, who is one of the most intimidating pitchers in baseball and doesn't blink, right? And that's where the game is won today. What, what about it for this year from this team? Because you've kind of gotten to watch this whole outside narrative come together. I mean, what has been that pinnacle to you of, of what's defined really a headline for baseball this year? It's the entertainment value of it, right? You want to turn on the Orioles and watch them play, which, you know, no offense to you and, and the rest of the massive broadcast, that is not something I was doing as often before this season, right? And everyone, you know, looks like they're enjoying themselves in the field. Uh, very impressive moment today, right? The idea of the next person stepping up, Brian Baker going out there on a day when Felix Bautista probably wasn't available. Very indicative of the success that they've had this season. Guys get traded away at the deadline. New guys step up, and fill the fill the fill the void. Well, and with that, we had Brian Baker coming in today, one game with Toronto last season, and then it was turning him out and saying, "Hey, what are you able to do today?" Well, he's able to dial it up to 98, but that was just one of the five strikeouts he ultimately delivered in those two innings of relief. And the cutter today was just superb. I think he threw more of those than he did with the four seam fastball. You know, you mentioned this Baker just one outing last year, and he's become a real staple of this bullpen thrown two innings in relief against the Yankees in such a big stage, setting down Aaron Judge, much to the chagrin of the uh, nearly sold-out crowd here at Yankee <laughs> Stadium today. And it's been just so dominating to watch him again. He's dialed this up from mid-low 90s to upper 90s, able to come through, sending in off-speed pitches, but just bridging it for the bullpen when they have tried to shore things up after they got a little exhausted in Boston. They wrap things up in Toronto. They get to go home and take on the Blue Jays. What is it that you're looking for in these final three games? Well, it's just a reminder, right, that, yeah, the postseason is coming and no, the Orioles won't be in it. But this is the final chance to see what really will become a special team in the history of this franchise. If the Orioles do take that next step next year, everyone will remember 2022 is the year where we really did see it for the first time. And three games left, definitely worth watching. Well, and that means we just get to have you around longer to heckle Kevin Brown, which we are always going to be a big fan of. Thank you always for following along with the Orioles and giving us something to look forward to. A pleasure and a privilege.